What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here for the Fan Duel. Hurry up. And I'm here talking about late round quarterback potential league winners for you and your fantasy drafts. And it feels kind of funny to be talking about late round quarterback. Shout out to the guy, JJ, there. But uh, I'm, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that moniker just for this show and uh, talk about some late round quarterbacks that I think could give you league winning upside for your fantasy drafts. So let's kick it off with Taysom Hill. He's going at quarterback 32. Now, Taysom Hill, uh, man, I love talking about this guy just because he's he's so polarizing right like everybody wants to buy into is it going to be Taysom Hill is it going to be Jameis starting for the New Orleans Saints and I just go back to Sean Payton being there at the helm he's kept Taysom Hill by his side pretty much throughout everything I mean they've they've given him a contract extension to keep him in he was talking about earlier on in the year how 31 other teams would be lucky to have him how he could so versatile he could play tight end quarterback linebacker I mean Sean Payton gushes at, at this guy every chance that he gets and so trying to think about who will be the starter this year I'm just gonna go back to to the guy Taysom Hill who's been around he was explosive last year in his four starts that he played in he came in at QB6 you have to love those numbers he offers you that rushing upside too that we all like from our quarterbacks and and when we're trying to get fantasy points and so and we know he's going to be utilized in the red zone they probably bring in Jameis Winston and have him run out wide you know run out at tight end so he's going to be receiving passes too in this offense I mean he's just a Swiss Army knife he can do everything in the way where he's going right now in ADP if you're looking at you know uh June June to July ADP it's about five spots behind five spots in the quarterback position behind Jameis Winston but multiple rounds behind Jameis Winston too and we just don't know enough from Jameis and how they how they view him Sean Payton one of his big things is not turning the ball over and the last time we saw Jameis he was throwing 30 interceptions as a starter so uh I, I like Taysom Hill I'm buying into him at QB 32. The next guy on this list is going to have a chip on his shoulder too and that's Cam Newton coming in at QB 31 and so Cam Newton when we're talking about quarterbacks with league winning upside I, I I do think that because of the rushing ability that he offers and because of the new weapons that they brought in for him like you could find a way to to get cam as a streamer and be able to have league winning upside now we look at last year yes he did struggle and so the rushing really is what kept him afloat you're looking at uh after week 11 he had only passed for like 20 times twice in the season but because of the rushing upside 12 rushing touchdowns is what he had that was the most he had since his rookie year when i he had 14 i believe and so then you're looking at the present the percentage of touchdowns that cam was responsible for this team put up 36 touchdowns he had 20 of them so only eight passing touchdowns but that's not why we buy into cam we buy into cam for that rushing upside i think they will build this they built this team around him to succeed i know he had struggled a little bit in otas and they did draft mac jones and so people are a little bit wor weary about him but this is a guy at the beginning of the season who it looked like when people were down on him for not really playing most of 2019 2020 it looked like he could be you know a top five quarterback at the position just because he was just so explosive and we know he has a red zone role we know that the running backs there are kind of in flux we don't know what's what's going on at the running back position we'll have to monitor that in training camp as well but just where cam is going right now at qb 31 and in the late rounds it just seems way too cheap this is a team that is going to try and compete to get back into the playoffs get back into a prime position to succeed and i think cam can help him uh, do that. I help them do that as well with the New England Patriots. So I'm definitely buying into Cam this year, and I think you should too. And the last quarterback that I want to touch on here for league winning upside potential, it's kind of an ugly one, so bear with me, guys, but Deshaun Watson, and he's going at QB 18. So Maybe you can argue that's not enough of a discount on a player who could possibly be suspended, who could possibly sit out the season. But I just think that, you know, Houston's going to be in a position where that it sounds like teams want him. There's a lot of reports that are that have been coming out even this week saying that teams are still interested in trading for Deshaun Watson. So if he gets away from Houston, because uh, I don't think he'll play a snap there this season, I would just be willing to take a bet that he's not going to going to do that. They first pick they drafted Davis Smith. Mills. They brought in Tyrod Taylor, who has connections to the new head coach. I, I don't believe that he will be taking a snap. But if he can land somewhere like a Denver, like a Las Vegas, and some of these other teams,
teams that are that are kind of hungry to have a quarterback or a veteran presence. Deshaun Watson, he we know what this guy can do since coming into the league, not his rookie season, but the three seasons prior to that. You're looking at QB4, QB5, QB5 again in fantasy numbers. And, and he's just so dynamic with the football. So, you know, it, it's it's tough to say you're looking at a situation where you could be drafting him and he could get suspended in season. You could be not dealing with somebody who's sitting out. But if you can get him, if you, you know, I don't think you take him if you're drafting one of the top five quarterbacks at the position. That's not something that you would need to do at that point. But if you have, if you're taking Ryan Fitzpatrick, a Ben Roethlisberger, or Carson Wentz, and you really want to stream quarterback at the position, take a chance on Deshaun because if this guy is playing multiple games in the 2021 season, he's going to pay off that price tag. Tr- tremendously so that's going to do it for the the three quarterbacks that I think have league winning upside here on the fan duel hurry up hopefully uh some of you guys agree and it'll be fun to monitor as the season goes forward I will catch you guys next time uh on the fan duel hurry up and all season long make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel to catch all the content